Hello, I'm Joe, and here we go for another Joko review. The bow tie today is my cyborg bow tie because I'll be reviewing Thames and Cosmos's mega cyborg hand. Yes, this hand has been on my son's wish list for a very long time. He finally got it for the Christmas holiday, but I didn't realize until I wrapped it for the holiday that this hand requires more than just assembly. Now listen, I'm all set for assembling any toy. I'm wearing a Lego bow tie. I can assemble a toy. But this cyborg hand requires you to cut out all 203 pieces from their original plastic frames. And that's a lot of pieces and that's a lot of cutting. They recommend getting a diagonal cutter to cut out all the pieces of this cyborg hand. They say if you don't have a diagonal cutter, that scissors will work, but when you use scissors, it will leave what they call a burr. Now, this burr is basically like a, you know, plastic nub that's left after you cut it out of the plastic frame. And they say your, your pieces cannot have any of these burrs, any plastic nubs, so you actually have to file down the plastic nubs on all these pieces, if any remain. So I said, okay, I don't wanna do scissors, I don't want to be filing uh, every piece. I went out, I got myself a diagonal cutter and started cutting the pieces out, but still there was burrs left and right. There were still so many burrs using diagonal cutter. So then I went back out to Lowe's. That's my second diagonal cutter. And this time I made sure it was the smallest little cutters that I could find that look just like the cutters on the instructions. And still I was getting Burrs, burr here, burr there, burr everywhere. Every piece, all 203 pieces of this hand that I cut out with my diagonal cutter still had so many burrs. And so I was left to file and file with a little nail filer. I'm filing away all these little plastic nubs. This is supposed to be STEM learning for children? More like STEM child labor. What am I learning? from filing down all these plastic nubs. The only thing I'm learning is that I have zero patience for this and I have plastic shavings all over me now. Ah, I don't know, I tell you. Quickly, these burrs became the burr of my existence. And the box says it's recommended for ages seven with help. And ages 10 plus, I got this. 10 plus, I got this. I'm four times that and I don't got this. The only thing I got is plastic shavings everywhere. I got microplastics everywhere. Oh gosh, this was grueling. <laughs> I mean, once I was actually done with all the, the burrs and the filing, assembling the cyborg hand was a lot of fun. It was fun to finally snap a piece together and then I had to go back and cut out another piece and then back to filing and filing and filing. All told, it took me about eight hours to assemble this mega cyborg hand. Uh, most of those hours were spent filing down all these plastic nubs, these burrs. And I tell you, if I didn't have to file down every piece, yeah, it would have probably taken me just under two hours. It would have been a great activity to do with my son. But I don't know what uh, these kids are supposed to learn doing all this plastic filing. It was oh, mind boggling. I'm just so glad that I didn't give this to him on Christmas morning because that would have brought Christmas morning to a halt to sit there and start filing plastic away for eight hours all Christmas day. No, thank you. So I put my thinking cap on. I said, you know what? I will give it to him a day early. We'll open it up Christmas Eve morning. So then we spent all day. And when I say we, I mean me. We spent all day Christmas Eve putting together the cyborg hand and huffing microplastics. What a time. I had the idea, like, oh, maybe I'll build it uh, the night before so it's all ready for them. I'm so glad I didn't stay up and try to build this the night before because I've been in that situation before. I once tried to build a kid craft kitchen on Christmas Eve and I basically pulled an all nighter that night because I don't know if any of you out there have ever tried to build a kid craft kitchen. That is some serious carpentry involved in those kid kitchens. Oh my goodness.
I was up all night building. I mean, what do I look like, a property brother? I'm not a property brother. I'm a Parker brother. Give me a board game to assemble. Not real life cabinetry. You know, let me know in the comments if you've ever gotten stuck on uh, Christmas Eve building something that you didn't think would take that long and then it took you all night long. Hey, if you've got some Barbie Dreamhouse stories or other kitchen stories out there, let me know about them. Uh, we've definitely pulled some all-nighters as parents and I would love to hear your stories. But in the end, my son loves this cyborg hand. It was amazing to see him explain how the hydraulics work. You actually do get to um, build in these hydraulics with water and oiling the, the plungers and the springs and everything. And he honestly just was so excited to explain to me how the hydraulics work and where the water goes. And I have never seen him be that involved in how something works. So that was really cool. So is this a joke? Uh, is this a joke? Oh, uh, no. Uh, I can't do the thumb. After the holidays, I did find uh, a box of the Thames and Cosmos Mega Cyborg Hand for only $10 at Goodwill, at Goodwill. It was there, still sealed, too. It was still sealed in the box. Probably donated by another frustrated family that felt like they didn't need to do all this factory work. If you can find this sealed at Goodwill for $10, then it's a Jogo. As much as he loved this set, I just can't recommend this for someone to do on their own. It was so much work to file and file and file and file. So if you could just get this toy with all that work already done for you, and then you get to assemble the pieces yourself, then it's a Jogo. But any other way, this cyborg hand is definitely a no-go. I would say at any age, the kids need help assembling this mega cyborg hand. So if you've got eight hours to spare and the right tools, they're gonna love it, uh, but uh, but boy, just I keep thinking about how much he loved the hydraulics. So maybe in the end it was worth it. But hey, just a word of warning: it's a lot of work. Uh, but that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and a big thank you to those that have already subscribed. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.